I'm Stephen Pryor and I work for Michelin North America and really excited to be here today and to, to share a little bit about uh, this great pro program that we have underway, um, partnering with the Riley Institute and in, under the Diversity Leadership Initiative. Um, we, we found a way to partner with other organizations and also for a phenomenal cause. It's a way to give directly back to our communities using our strong partnership with the Greenville County Sheriff's Office for a direct distribution channel. So we're really excited to be here with you today. I'm Chris Tolbert, I'm um, with Michelin as well. Um, I'm part of this current DLI class and um, had the opportunity to participate with this wonderful group, um, Community Coats and Cops, Coat Drive. Uh, I think this just feeds into what we do here at Michelin as far as really working with the community. And uh, we had an opportunity, actually, we put these boxes out uh, in two different locations within the building. We had one in the atrium and one down in the cafeteria. We've had great success with um, um, getting support from the employees. And we're actually going to run the program for an additional two weeks past the class um, to gain more support for the program. We really appreciate everybody's support and um, hopefully we're going to help continue to bridge that gap between the community and uh, the cops in the Greenville area. I'm Becky Clement, the Development and Volunteer Coordinator for the Salvation Army. Uh, we have always done coat drives in the past. Our problem is storage and also uh, distribution. So this partnership with Riley Institute, Furman University, and uh, the Greenville County Police actually has solved all of this and will allow us to get more coats out into the community to the people who need it. My name is Lieutenant Ty Miller. I'm the Public Information Officer, Lieutenant over Administration for the Greenville County Sheriff's Office. We decided to um, do the Community Coats and Cops project, and that project um, is to deliver coats to our community as we're out on patrol. We have deputies out on patrol 24 hours a day, and they see all kinds of different needs that uh, need to be met. So I presented um, this project because I remember the days that I was in uniform patrol and I would go into the houses and see the kids and the, the wives and, and men gathered around their stoves and I remember seeing how cold they were and not knowing or having any idea what that really felt like and wanting to meet that need. And so when I realized that this was something that we could all get behind and I had a class that was really excited about getting behind it, I knew it would be an easy sell for the sheriff's deputy. Terry Newsom with the Greenville Health System. The Riley Institute, Diversity Leadership Institute, has been extremely important to GHS over the years and I was very excited to be able to be a part of it. As we look around and we, we look at the health disparities in our communities, being able to give coats to people to keep them warm and keep them healthy is really part of the mission of our organization. I'm Hubert Yarborough. I had a profound experience uh, the other night. I had a chance to do a ride along with the deputy. Um, it was rainy. Um, it was about two o'clock in the morning, and we we're about to finish up a shift. and And uh, we saw there were three homeless folks um, outside the mission. Deputy Mon, um, you know, shared with them that we had some coats for them, and. Uh, they, I swear, they lit up, and, and it, was, it was, you know, it's one of those heart, heartfelt moments that, um, you know, you, don't, you read about, you hear about, but uh, until you're in it, um, it was just so profound. I love you. <laughs> Thank you.